Hey everybody, remember your first pimple? I certainly remember mine. Not a great memory by the way, and not exactly the look I was going for. I'm Janice and welcome to my channel. Glad you stopped by. Please subscribe to become a part of this YouTube finally. Stay tuned and hope you will find this video informative. Acne is one of those things that almost everyone experiences at some point in their lives. It's like a rite of passage, like getting your driver's license or staying up past midnight for the first time. But what exactly is acne? And why does it seem to love teenagers so much? Let's get into the science behind those pesky pimples. Okay, so picture your skin like a beautiful bustling city. It's a vibrant place with a lot going on beneath the surface. It's got streets, buildings, and even little factories called sebaceous glands. These glands are like the city's maintenance crew, working tirelessly to keep everything running smoothly. These glands are responsible for producing sebum, which is basically oil that keeps our skin nice and moisturized. Think of sebum as the natural moisturizer that prevents our skin from drying out and cracking. Acne happens when these little factories go a bit haywire. Sometimes they produce too much oil and that's when the trouble starts. Imagine the streets getting clogged with garbage, oil spills everywhere, and bacteria throwing a party. It's like a traffic jam in the city, but instead of cars, it's oil and bacteria chaos, right? That's kind of what's happening when you get a breakout. The smooth operation of your skin city is disrupted, leading to visible issues on the surface. Your pores, the tiny openings in your skin, can get blocked with dead skin cells, excess oil, and, you guessed it, bacteria. These blockages are like roadblocks that prevent the normal flow of sebum. This blockage creates a breeding ground for bacteria, leading to inflammation and those red swollen bumps we call pimples. It's like a small scale disaster in your skin city, causing discomfort and visible blemishes. So, maintaining a good skincare routine is essential to keep your skin city running smoothly and prevent these breakouts. Let's talk clogged pores, the root of all evil when it comes to acne. These tiny openings on our skin can cause a world of trouble if not taken care of properly. Imagine a drain in your sink. When it gets clogged with hair and gunk, the water can't go down, right? The same principle applies to our skin. Our skin is constantly shedding dead cells, which is totally normal. This process is part of our skin's natural renewal cycle, helping to keep it fresh and healthy. But sometimes, these dead cells can get stuck in the pore along with sebum, creating a blockage. Sebum is the natural oil our skin produces to keep it moisturized. It's like a traffic jam in there. When the dead cells and sebum mix, they form a plug that blocks the pore. This blockage, called a comedone, can either be open or closed. Understanding the difference between these two types is crucial for proper skin care. An open comedone is a blackhead, that little dark spot that looks like a tiny speck of dirt. It's not dirt though, it's actually just the oil oxidizing when exposed to air. The exposure causes the oil to turn dark, giving it that characteristic black appearance. A closed comedone is a whitehead, a small flesh-colored bump. Unlike blackheads, whiteheads are not exposed to air. The pore is completely blocked, trapping the oil and bacteria inside. This can lead to inflammation and sometimes even infection, causing those painful pimples we all dread. To prevent clogged pores, it's essential to maintain a good skincare routine. Regular cleansing helps remove excess oil and dead skin cells. 
Exfoliating a few times a week can also help by sloughing off dead skin cells before they have a chance to clog your pores. Using non-comedogenic products ensures that your skin care and makeup won't contribute to pore blockages. With the right care, you can keep your pores clear and your skin healthy, reducing the chances of acne and other skin issues. Now let's talk about the party animals of the acne world bacteria. These tiny organisms are always around living their lives on our skin. There's this little critter called that lives on our skin. It's a type of bacteria that is part of our natural skin flora. Don't worry, it's usually harmless. In fact, it's a normal resident of our skin and plays a role in maintaining a healthy balance. In fact, it even helps keep our skin healthy by preventing harmful bacteria from taking over. It's like having a friendly neighbor who keeps an eye on things. But when those pores get clogged with oil, dead skin cells, and other debris, sees it as an all-you-can-eat buffet. The trapped sebum provides the perfect environment for it to thrive. It multiplies like crazy in the trapped sebum, causing inflammation and redness. This is when you start to see those pesky pimples forming. Think of it like a house party gone wrong. At first, everything seems under control. But then more and more guests arrive. Things start out fine, but then it gets out of control, and before you know it, there's a mess to clean up. The bacteria multiply, causing more inflammation and leading to those painful red bumps we all dread. So, while bacteria can be our friends, they can also be the culprits behind our skin woes when things get out of balance. It's all about maintaining that delicate equilibrium on our skin. Remember those sebaceous glands, our little oil factories? Well, they're heavily influenced by hormones, especially during puberty. That's why teenagers are more prone to acne. Their hormones are going wild, causing the sebaceous glands to produce more oil than a deep fryer. Think of it like a roller coaster. Hormones go up, oil production goes up, and boom, you've got yourself a breakout. It's not just puberty, though. Hormonal changes during menstruation, pregnancy, or even stress can also trigger acne. So there you have it, the science behind those pesky pimples. It's a combination of clogged pores, bacteria, oil production, and hormones, all doing a little dance on your face. But here's the thing, acne is incredibly common. Almost everyone gets it at some point in their lives. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just your skin doing its thing. So next time you feel self-conscious about a breakout, remember you're not alone. We've all been there. And hey, at least it gives us something to talk about besides the weather, right? Let's connect on social media. You may follow me at Jan Inspires on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit. And don't forget to subscribe for more skincare tips. See you next time. Bye.